In this video, we will look at multiplying binomials using a method called FOIL. FOIL is an acronym where the F stands for first, the O is outside, I is la- is inside, sorry, and L is last. First, outside, inside, last. This acronym tells us which terms to multiply together as we work through the problem. The idea is, if we were multiplying a polynomial like 4x plus 7y times 3x minus 2y, we would start, start by multiplying the first terms together. The first term of each binomial is 4x times 3x, which would be 12x squared. O stands for the outside, meaning the outside two extremes, 4x times 2, negative 2y, which would be negative 8 x, y. I means the two inside terms in the middle get multiplied together, 7y times 3x, which would be positive 21 x, y. L stands for the last two terms, meaning we multiply the last term of the first polynomial by the last term of the second polynomial. 7y times negative 2y is negative 14y squared. Once we've done all the multiplying, we simply have to identify any like terms and combine them if we can. Here we have like terms in the middle that need to be combined, negative 8xy plus 21xy. We now have 12x squared plus 13xy minus 14y squared. Often, many students think of FOIL as distributing the 4x through the other polynomial, times the 3x and the 2y, and then we distribute the 4y through the other polynomial as well. Let's look at this pattern worked out in the second example. The second example, I have 2x minus y times 4x minus 5y. We'll start with the first term and distribute it through the other parentheses. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. 2x times negative 5y is negative 10xy. We then can move to distributing the next term through. Negative y times 4x is negative 4xy. Continuing to distribute, negative y times negative 5y is positive 5y squared. Now we can look to find like terms, which we have in the middle again. We now have 8x squared minus 14xy plus 5y squared for our final solution. Multiplying using the FOIL method simply takes each term from the first polynomial and distributes it all the way through the second polynomial. We can arrive at our final simplified answer by combining like terms.